Okay, YouTube. The house is coming along. I made uh, we made a lot of progress. Um, I'm slowly doing everything a bit at a time. I don't tend to complete everything at once. Um, I just move on one project after another and then move on to come back and, and finish it off. So this design here, I just want to share with anyone who's interested. I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube on closet design. I think a lot of the YouTube closet designs are very expensive to, uh, to put together. Um, and I just, I like things that are simple. So in here, this uh, walk-in closet, it's not a big, big walk-in closet. However, I, I managed to use the space. Um, and I decided also to, to have this hidden, so this uh, is ERV. And I designed it that, uh, you know, it's not in the plain sight, somewhere in the house. It's on purpose that I put it here. I think it's over here that uh, happened to be a perfect place for it. But about the, uh, so what I did was I, I built a two by four wall. Now they come with two by three studs. So I could have used that, but that was after the fact. Um, and then I simply put together a simple number up there with drywall. And I got a whole shelf there that uh, my wife can use. And then, and you can see here, I have a lot of space with these uh, closet hanger bars, the metal one. They are very heavy duty. They can hold a lot of weight from Home Depot. And I just got one piece for $42 and I split them in half. And uh, so I'm making a use of the height of the, the house. Um, this is about 10 and a half feet high. And then this space uh, kind of covers the edge, uh, the ERV piping. Um, and that's about as much as the Buddha beam, so one feet down. So that's a nine, nine and a half feet uh, ceiling. Um, so that's why this is more than eight feet. I kind of, uh, kind of, maybe this is overweight, overweight there. I might need one more support over here, right here. I'll do that later on. Uh, like I said, I come back to projects and I make improvements. I don't finish them the way I operate. But anyways, that's about the closet there. And uh, now that I'm so good at uh, when you do things two or three times, um, I have improved a lot on my floor laying and uh, I make sure the floor is perfectly level before I start and even my cuts and uh, my gaps are much much better than before and I'm uh, kind of proud of my myself for that so this is all me I pretty much built this all me I could say I've had people give me a hand uh, pass me stuff but it's all me um, and I'm hoping that uh, my buddy will come and will start the next project is to uh, to do the baseboard right um, and then now my next construction site is this washroom here and I have my own design and I'll make that happen now Another thing that I've done is that I've installed this fan. I'm going to do a review on this fan by itself. Um, I got it online. Uh, not that expensive, but uh, seven feet wide. I think maybe 34 inch, 34 inch wide. So it's like a little less than seven feet. Uh, sorry, six feet, I guess, 74 inch. I, I, I'm having a tough time calculating in my head. But uh, anyways, uh, this fan, because my the house has 10 and a half feet, 
uh, ceiling it's a little bit difficult to keep it hot all the time it keeps temperature really well I, I love it even without it I don't think I, I need this but I still like that comfort right that comfort that temperature has to be the same everywhere uh, this might be too small for it so I'm gonna go bigger I have a bigger one of fan coils downstairs so I'm gonna go big on the fan coil I'm probably gonna do it today I'm gonna replace that and this fan coil uh, the next one I'm gonna replace should give me enough heat for this window because this window is like nine feet nine and a half feet by like uh, I don't know five feet high so it's a big window here is a lot of it's facing north so it's a lot of uh, cold comes in there uh, that's the only area I'm a little bit uncomfortable and uh, just with these two um, I, I, for now I mean that's the only one that's hitting this entire space uh, which is too small for that so i'm gonna go big on big on that one i'm gonna go big on that one and then what i'm gonna do is uh that one i uh, it was leaking i fixed it and it's leaking again so i'm gonna get rid of that and there's another big one i have i'm gonna put another big one over there uh so, sorry i'm gonna put um i'm gonna take that one and add one more over there right on that corner so i'm gonna have three for this area um and i should i should cover it and each bedroom have their own fan coils anyways uh this heat that uh, these fan coils produce what's gonna happen is it rise up to the ceiling and when i do my work and when i'm standing on this ladder and if i do a work let's say up there or on a scaffolding that you guys see um if i'm installing on this scaffolding if i'm installing a ceiling i will be very very hot because all the heat rises up and and i've seen the difference it's like a night and day as soon as i'm on a scaffolding i'm drenching with with sweat when i come down immediately it's cool my body cools immediately so that tells me majority of the heat <laughs> is up up on the ceiling um so this fan pushes that hot air down, right? And I designed, I designed the house. So for this area, I have two of them. There should be another one that's gonna be there later on. And then each bedroom also have one. So that's gonna keep the, the house temperature really, really well. And I'm told it saves uh, money on heating and uh, those things will barely run even in uh, minus 25 that's what i'm expecting um the big thing about these things these things are also there's no noise in the house it's quiet all the time no fan noise no machine noise nothing it's beautiful like it makes a big difference when you live in a house when there's no uh there's minimum noise because of the simplicity of the machines uh, okay so now also here i also uh put the dryer washer machine this is the, the heat pump uh dryer which means that there's no exhaust i don't exhaust anything outside of the house um because and also i already talked about this shelving i don't exhaust anything um because i don't want to whatever i heat because it's efficiency is the key um because of that when you are exhausting hot air to the outside you might as well not build a house to with the icf because it defeats the purpose uh, you build the icf uh, houses to to keep the house very efficient and then if you're cutting holes in there then the efficiency goes because 80 percent of all your your heat loss is through through uh, leaks right so i don't exhaust nothing uh, my range hood doesn't exhaust there's no exhaust to the outside of about any kind of thing right now it, it's it's costing me a bit more i'm going to show you something this is a messy place here you can see the difference between upstairs and downstairs um right now i have this dryer that's like 10 years old 
it's it's telling me to just throw it out it's barely doing any work you can see this dryer is it exhausts the upside and uh, and uh, it was in the winter and it was dead winter the cold air came through there I felt cold air come here and we'll, we'll try and it uh, exchange hot air with the dryer and kind of broke the glass right so I want to avoid that right uh, and that's basically ex exhaust the entire air uh, out of the house and uh, it was kind of defeating the purpose of, uh, of the whole design so I'm gonna cut that off and my heat pump outside heat pump right outside will take over and it will improve the efficiency of the house um, you know one of the most important thing for me is that by keeping it efficient and low he low heat demand you'll have less equipment to run and less noise less complications and your equipments will last forever uh, you can see all these uh, mess that's just from the I was working on the uh, the closet, the walk-in closet, and the laundry room, right? So, like I said, it's uh, no noise, right? Like I only have these two tanks and uh, a couple of pumps. You can see the pumps are not running right now. It's it's winter. It's December, and barely anything running because the house. This is this is where it's still my having a leak that leak there like the house is not completely done it's still leaking right and it's still efficient and when i shut that dryer off like remove that dryer and complete my arv installation because finish the ceiling there and uh complete the whole installation there's going to be barely any leak and the house uh, will run amazingly uh, you can see my adreno my adreno mega um, this is my own design. I, hopefully one day, maybe I can market that. But that's my design there. And it's controlling the three heat source systems really nicely. And I'm also proud of that. Um, so I, I thought maybe I should update uh, YouTube. Um, and, uh, you know, this is not a how-to videos that I'm doing. I'm sharing my journey and experience. And, uh, you know, later on and basically explaining that anyone can do this. It's all out there if you're interested in doing it. Um, but I'm just sharing mainly ideas of how, what choices to make. Um, and how to do it is not, how to do it is not always uh, impossible. Main thing is like design, design, design. So thank you very much, YouTube. Have a good day. Please subscribe to my channel. Hopefully I'm still looking, getting my channel to uh, a thousand subscribers so it can generate uh, some kind of income. Right now, even though there's commercial shop running, it doesn't generate anything, but it's all good. Once it generates, I can put out more videos. Uh, I, can spend, I can spend more time. Thank you, bye.